This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and I have got three guests with me from the international plowing match that's going to happen in Kempville next year, 2022. So we've got lots to talk about. I've got Teresa Harrison and I've got Sharon Brownrig. Uh, Sharon, Shannon, sorry, Shannon Brownrig, you're the special events chair. The coordinator, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, and Teresa Harrison and Nancy Grundy, you are co-chairs for the quilt tent. Correct. Okay, yes. okay. Now, our uh, international plowing match was supposed to happen two years ago in the Kempfell area because of COVID. We've had to cancel it. Uh, this is our second year canceling it, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Let's talk about it. When the dates are and uh, where it's going to happen. Maybe, Shannon, you can talk about that? Sure. The, the our previous two uh, cancellations, unfortunately, were in other communities. So this was the year that was planned for North Grenville in September uh, 20th to the 24th. 2022. That's a bit of a mouthful, but <laughs> we're getting it. And uh, so we're really excited to have our, our match um, after our two year hiatus due to the pandemic, but we're really excited and looking forward to pulling everything together for, for everyone to join us in North Grenville. All right. So no, as somebody that hasn't been to an international plowing match, let's talk about it because it is huge. This is a big event that's going to happen in North Grenville at, in, at Kempville at our college. So let's talk about it. It's huge. Yes, it's very large. Our tented city usually encompasses anywhere from 50 to 60 acres. And uh, we have a guest from Oliver, and uh, they're coming to check out what's going on in, in the agriculture industry, what's going on in plowing. We have a plowing competition and uh, lots of vendors and shows that are going on to show what agriculture in the area looks like yesterday, today and in the future. All right, all right. Now, I originally, Teresa, I got a hold of you because uh, you've got a bit of an, a, of, of an event going on right now, uh, and it's a quilt block challenge. So maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so recently we got together and uh, Nancy, Shannon, myself, and a few others, and we cut blocks for the quilt block challenge. So these kits are available, $12 each, or for $14, they can be sent out to you. And you can use the four fabrics that are in here, plus a fabric of your own to create a block. And then you can submit the completed block to us by October 31st of this year. And we will use those blocks to put together a quilt, which will be raffled off. And it's always very exciting to see all of the creative blocks that come in. Everybody starts with the same four fabrics, but it's amazing to see the diversity of blocks that get made from the, the block quilts when they're submitted. So it's a lot of creativity and imagination going on now. Uh, um, Shannon, maybe you can talk, no, it's not Shannon, it's Nancy. Nancy, maybe you can talk about, there's a theme for these too as well. I've, I've lost uh, Nancy. Oh, she's gonna unmute. There. I'm sorry. I had myself muted. It's oh, an old there you habit. Go. <laughs> okay, so yes, it is uh, home on the farm. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So that is the theme. So it's uh, you have to get your uh, imagination uh, just to going. And as uh, Teresa held up, we have a nice blue color, and then we have a yellow to go with it. And then we have green, and then we have the brown. So, uh, you know, I can imagine that there's going to be like sunflowers or sheep or whatever have you. And the block is to be 12 and a half inches square. And then when we receive them all, they are going to be judged. And their first price is $100, second 75, and then 50. So uh, it is kind of fun. It's not um, uh, just going to be put away somewhere else. And then we'll be making this uh, quilt and it'll be uh, uh, raffled off. And maybe if we have enough blocks, we have 150 kits prepared and hopefully we will sell all 150. We already have sold maybe 12 of them. So there we go. So you said 150? Yeah, 150 kits. Wow. Uh, so we hope to get 150 blocks back, but we know that not all blocks will be returned to us. So we hope to have 
at least 125 blocks back and uh, so we'll make one or two or maybe three quilts and uh, I think the queen of the furrow might be receiving a quilt if we have enough or table runners or something so it's going to be really fun and it's going to be challenging to putting them all together and being very creative. I, I was going to ask how many uh, squares does it take to make a, a quilt so you possibly might get two maybe three out of this. Yes. That's right. It just depends because they're 12 and a half inches. So uh, you probably will be thinking about making a queen size quilt. And, um, you know, it's going to take maybe 50 blocks, uh, 45 blocks if we decide to put a border on it or something of that sort. Okay, so can we talk about you're going to get the quilt, the quilt blocks back and yes. then your team are going to put them together. How many have you got in your committee to put this together? And, and let's talk about making a quilt because it's a lot of work. Well, it is a lot of work and we are still looking for some volunteers <laughs> and uh, we have quite a few uh, people that belong to the Kempfield Guild and uh, uh, quilting friends. So we'll get together someday and if you can see in the background, that's where we had fun cutting uh, over 50 meters of fabric into these 10 inch squares. And then we folded them all up and put them into the Ziploc bags. And uh, we did all that in uh, a few hours actually and had a great time doing it. So uh, putting it together, first of all, we will take the blocks and they're supposed to be 12 and a half inches square, but that doesn't always happen. So we will square them up and then we will lay them all out and decide what we want. And then we have to get a batting and then a backing and then we'll send them to a friend who's already agreed to do the long arm quilting. So she'll quilt them and then we have to put a binding on them. So it is a bit of a process. And I mean, when, when you see a, a quilt raffle, I mean, uh, those tickets go so fast because people love homemade quilts. They, I mean, the, the, the love and the, the work that goes in it. I'm a sewer too, so I, I know what you guys put into a quilt when you put those together. It's amazing. That's right. That's right. That's going to be a really unique one. And even to start off uh, the quilt, when we receive them, they're going to go into a little bit of a competition first. Maybe Teresa has some information about the quilt comp the block competition itself. Yes. So once we receive all the quilts, quilt blocks, when they're completed, we put a number on them and then we will take a picture of that block and put the entry form with it separate. And then we will have the quilt blocks judged before Christmas and the person will see each of the completed quilt blocks they'll each be numbered the judging will be done and then we will notify the winners before Christmas time and included in the the kit is a rule sheet and it tells you about the theme it tells you about the deadlines and the entry form is at the bottom so once you've completed your block, it, um, you can fill out the entry form and the mailing address is included on the bottom of it. All right. All right. You, we, we, we talk about the international plowing match and there's so much uh, involved uh, at these events. Uh, Teresa and Nancy, I believe, are you both on the uh, Kempfel Quilting Guild? Is that the proper name we for We are, it? yes. You're both on it. So that's how you guys got involved. Yes, Nancy was contacted by Shannon asking her if she would uh, participate and uh, And there, that's how it all there started. There it has grown. And that's yeah. how it started. And, and one thing we didn't mention, Kathy, that we'd like to mention is the fabric comes from Northcott Fabrics. They donate the fabric. Oh, really? Very nice. And where are they from? Uh, they're located in Canada. Excellent. But it was shipped from Vaughan, Ontario. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And they're in the, they're in the Toronto area, I believe. Okay. They're a very large, Northcott is a very large fabric company and, you know, everyone's very familiar with Northcott fabric. Very nice, very nice. And like I say, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a sewer too and I mean, it's good quality fabric that you're working with. It makes a world of difference. It makes does, a world yes. of difference. All right, Shannon, maybe we can talk to you about uh, some, of the, some of the events. I know there's too many to mention right now. We're hoping uh, here on FYI, we're gonna be having you ladies back uh, as a regular and maybe some other uh, committee members and, and other things that are going on 
uh, at the plowing match and uh, leading up to it because it's it's just a year away but it's going to happen real quick so maybe Shannon you can talk as the uh, uh, you are the special events chair some of the things that do happen at the international plowing matches well, Kathy, we're really early in our planning, so I can't let too many secrets out yet. But we definitely have uh, lots of lots of lots of activities for everyone. So right from our education tent, which has uh, activities for the school children that come to visit, and hopefully COVID will allow that to happen. Um, the children to visit to our antiques area, which will showcase some of the antique features in the area. We will have a life stages tent to share showcase some agricultural activities in the area we will have a vendor's tent we'll have entertainment going on on a couple of different stages throughout the day as well not to mention um uh our quilting tent <laughs> as well and we also have activities there's plowing that's going on both with the uh, tractors and uh, horsemen as well so we have quite a bit of uh, a plowing competition that goes on and uh uh, and lots of activities going on. We have our RV park uh, that will be there as well, that we host our guests from out of town and, uh, and an entertainment area in that area as well. So there's lots going on and, and we look forward to actually connecting with you, Kathy, again, to be able to share some more details as they're coming together. Because right now we're just, in, we're just kind of pulling things together and uh, we look forward to um, uh, going forward, one of the early events we have actually will be uh, our quilt show that will be held in August. So we have another competition where where people, quilters from the area will submit quilts for an actual competition, and then they will be showcased at the uh, IPM in in September as well. So. Uh, stay tuned for that event as well. All right, all right. And we, we talk about the IPM being uh, September. I, I like you've got the dates right behind your head there, Shannon. Uh, <laughs> September 20th to 24, uh, 2022. An event as huge as this, though, it's going to take you the year to uh, plan it and put it together. Yes, and with many volunteers. And we are grateful for the volunteer teams that we have starting and that are ready and ready to join and help us along the way. We're really excited to for this to come to North Granville. So saying that, do you need more volunteers? Where do you need help? We do. Stay tuned. We have a Facebook page and we're on Instagram and uh, Twitter. We will be sharing the information for volunteers to sign up and the areas that we're looking for. So stay tuned. Um, you'll be, it'll be coming to everybody very, very shortly. And uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get that team rolling and growing as, it, as we get closer to September 2022. Excellent, excellent. Well, today's FYI, we're focusing on the quilting competition. Uh, maybe, Teresa, you can uh, uh, tell people where to get a hold of the kit and uh, when they need to be back in by. Yes. So currently we have kits that are available in Kempville at the fabric shop, the Kempville fabric shop. And Nancy was also out to Russell and drop some off to the quilters barn and gift shop that's in Russell. And the other option that's available to people if they want to send um, order online and pay by e-transfer, they can do so. It would be quiltsipm2022 at gmail.com. And if you would like to order and have it shipped to you by Canada Post, the cost is $14. If you're picking it up at the Kempville Fabric Shop or at the Quilters Barn in Russell, it's $12. All right, I have one more question, Nancy. I'm gonna throw it to you. Who is this uh, available to? Like, what is the catchment area for the, this contest? International, I'd like to say. International, all right, good yes. answer. <laughs> all of Ontario, for sure, for sure. Obviously, it's more concentrated in the Eastern Ontario area. But uh, also to some of the guilds, um, Upper Canada Guild, Thousand Island Guild, the guilds that are in this close area, uh, they will also have kits and uh, they'll be getting them shortly. So you can get them right from your, your guild members. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It's not just about the North Grenville area. It's a big, big catchment area. So uh, we look forward to talking to you more on a monthly basis, learn more about what's going on at our international plowing match that's happening in North Grenville at our Kempville College campus. So we look forward to hearing more and learning more. And uh, things are just getting wound up for you too, Shannon. So we look forward to, to uh, speaking to you more and other members of the IPM.
Thank you for joining us. I have got Shannon Brownrig, Teresa Harrison, and Nancy Grundy from the IPM. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll talk again real soon. Thank you very right, thanks much. Thanks for having us, Kathy. Bye. <laughs>